let's take a look at reducing fractions to lowest terms. Write 21 over 24 in lowest terms. Okay, well when we're reducing a fraction or simplifying it or putting it in lowest terms, what we want to do is find a common factor that goes into both of those numbers and then we can cancel out the common factors to simplify or reduce our fraction. So let's take a look at our factors for each of these numbers. So I'm going to draw the prime factorization here. Let's make a little factor tree for 21. Well, besides 1 and 21, what numbers go into 21? Okay, well, 7 times 3 would give me 21. And notice both of these numbers are prime, meaning I can't break them down anymore, right? 7 times 1 is the only way to get 7, and 7 times 3 is the only things that multiply out to 3. So my prime factors are 7 and 3. Okay, if I take a look at 24, okay, well, I could divide 24 by 2. Okay, that would be 2 times 12. 12 I could break down even more into 2 times 6. And 6 I can break down even more into 2 times 3. So here my prime factors would be 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. All right, so if I want to look for a common factor, or a, a factor, I'll put CF for common factor, right, the only common factor that they share is 3, right, 21 has factors of 3 and 7, 24 has factors of 2, 12, 6, and 3, right, so 3 would be our common factor. All right, so what I would do is say how many times does 3 go into both of these numbers? Or you could even write it out, right? 3 goes into 21 7 times. So that means another way to write 21 is to say 3 times 7. And 3 also goes into 24. Another way to write 24 is to say 3 times 8. Okay, and the reason I like to write it this way, showing that common factor, is now I can see I would cancel out the factor of 3 on the top with the factor of 3 on the bottom. Now the reason we can do that is remember what you're multiplying by on the top is like multiplication, and the numbers on the bottom you're dividing by. So if I multiply by 3 and then divide by 3, it undoes itself, right? Those would be inverses. So that means I can simplify or reduce this fraction to 7 eighths. write 10 over 12 in lowest terms. Okay, now the factor tree, guys, the factor tree part is optional. If you can look at those numbers and say, I know the common factor off the top of my head, well, then you can just go right to that part. If you're not sure, then it helps to look at your factors. So 10, I could break that down into 5 times 2. Right, that would be my prime factorization. If I wanted to break down 12, I would say, okay, well, 12 is 2 times 6, and 6 I can break down even more into 2 times 3. So there, my prime factorization would be 2 times 2 times 3. Okay, well, the common factor, or the factor they share, is 2, right? They both have a factor of 2. And again, you might not need to do that part. You might be able to look at these and say, they're both even numbers, so I know 2 goes into both. Okay, but you can always do the factor tree if you get stuck. Okay, so I want to write these to show the factor of 2. Well, another way to write 10 is 2 times 5, and another way to write 12 would be 2 times 6. And then I can cancel my common factor of 2, and that simplifies or reduces this to 5 over 6. Write 3 over 9 in lowest terms. Okay, well, if you need to use the factor tree here, you can definitely do it. In this case, since my numbers are 3 and 9, I might be able to just say, well, what's the, the biggest number that goes into both 3 and 9? Well, 3 is. So what I want to do is write both of these showing the factor of 3. Right? Another way to write 3 is 1 
times three. Another way to write nine is three times three. Okay, I can cancel out the common factor of three and that simplifies or reduces this to one third. Okay, write five over 18 in lowest terms. And again, if you can think right off the top of your head, what's the biggest number that goes into 15 and 18, you can start with that. If you need to do the factor tree, it's only gonna take you a minute to say, okay, well, the factors of 15 would be three times five. I can't break those down anymore. Those are my prime factors. And then if I wanna break down 18 into prime factors, well, let's see, two times nine, Okay, two is prime. Nine, I can break down even more into three times three. So my prime factors here would be two times three times three. So notice the three is in both of those lists, or my common factor is three. So I can say, okay, well, I can write 15 as three times five, and I can write 18 as three times six, right? That would multiply out to 18. If we cancel our common factor of three, that simplifies or reduces my fraction to five over six. Choose the best answer. Write two over 16 in lowest terms. Okay, well they're both even numbers, so I know two must go into both of these. So I can write two as two times one and I can write 16 as two times eight. If I cancel my common factor of two, that simplifies or reduces my fraction to one over eight. 